Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy. Thank y'all so, so much for being here. Today's video is going to be a really fun, different style Walmart plus size clothing lookbook featuring brand new, just released clothing from walmart.com and your local Walmart stores that is guaranteed to fit everybody's fashion personality. In the last several weeks, I've noticed a lot of comments from my subscribers who are really enjoying these plus size fashion hauls, but are not really ready to go out on the town. They're not really ready to go out for date night. They don't want to go to a restaurant. They don't want to go to the movies because of specific health concerns, because of COVID. I completely understand you on that. So this video is going to be geared more towards that. It's going to be an extra cute style lookbook with everything from Walmart, but it's going to be geared for a date night at home situation. And to make this video extra special for y'all, I did sort of this like choose your own adventure style where I have timestamps below. I have a really cool, very fun makeup look that I get lots of compliments and lots of comments on every time I do it. So that will be linked below. And I also have a hair tutorial for y'all. So if you're interested in a really cute, date night hair tutorial. I will have that as well, as well as the Walmart plus size clothing lookbook. So if you're interested in seeing everything I got to offer here, then please keep on watching. So the first outfit that I want to share with y'all is probably my favorite of the bunch. It is the most cool. It's the most casual and it's probably the funnest out of the bunch, I think, in my opinion. So I'm going to start off showing you the shirt. I'll show you the jeans in just a second. So this is what the shirt looks like. And as you can see, this is from the Ramones. And back in the day, you could not find a Ramones t-shirt anywhere except for like Hot Topic and Spencer's or maybe like a CD store or some sort. Now you can get it at Walmart. Walmart and I love that. I love the Ramones. I'm a huge fan and I picked this up in a size 2X. It fits perfectly. So I wear a size between an 18 and a 20 and this is a little bit oversized, but it leaves room for shrinkage, which I appreciate. <laughs> you gotta have room for shrinkage. Anyway, this is what the shirt looks like. As you can see, this is a really cute short sleeve shirt. It is a nice long shirt. So if you want to wear this over leggings, if you want to wear these over regular pants and you don't want to show your booty, you don't have to because it is nice and long. And this pairs so, so well with the jeans. I picked this up for $7.98. Amazing price. You can distress it. You can have a lot of fun with it. You can tie dye it if you want to, or you can just leave it exactly the same and it's perfectly fine. Very, very stylish and it goes perfectly well with the pair of jeans that I want to show y'all. So these are from the brand No Boundaries and I'm really not about the No Boundaries brand. I said that in another, in another video before and I just find that No Boundaries doesn't have the quality for the price if that makes sense but these jeans are an exception. So these are the high-waisted mom jeans. I picked these up for $17.98 and this is what they look like. So I picked these up in a size 21 and they fit absolutely perfectly. They're very high rise, high-waisted. They go right past my belly button and they are so unbelievably comfortable. The denim is nice and thick. It's substantial. It's going to last you a long time. And then whenever you go down to the knees, it has a very big ripped knee detail, which I love. I love ripped. I love distressed jeans. It just adds a little bit of an edge to things. A lot of people don't like it, but I do. I just love ripped jeans. And then whenever you go down to the bottom, they have a really nice cuff, which you can undo if you want to. They're not like sewn or anything. And these are just very, very nice. They're very dark wash. They're very cool, very casual. They don't really try too hard. And the price is amazing. So whenever you turn these around, this is what the back of them look like. So these are like the typical mom style jeans. They don't really do a whole lot for your booty, if that makes sense, because you know, the whole mom style, it's just more of like a toned down, version of a boyfriend jean in my opinion but overall these are really cool very well made very well priced jeans that pairs very well with this ramones t-shirt and i just love it so the second outfit that i want to share with y'all is a little bit of a step up from the last outfit this outfit you can wear just about anywhere you can go to church you can go run errands you can go to the grocery store or if you want to you can still stay home and still look very stylish cute and a little bit on the sexy side so this is what the second outfit fit looks like. Well, this is the shirt of it. I'll show you the pants in just a second. So this is from the brand Terra and Sky. I picked this up in a size 3X and it's this really pretty, very nice sort of a forest green flannel. 
Um, it has a really pretty plaid detail in black, and I just love this. It comes in three different colors, I think, maybe four. Um, one is like a brown, sort of a 70s style brown. It's got lots of different colors in it. One is like a cream with like red and pinks in it. And I think this one, it might've had another color, I just can't remember. But I picked this up in a size 3X, which is a little bit oversized because I wanted to leave room for shrinkage. So this is what it looks like. It has a really nice pocket in the front right here. There's kind of a slouch pocket. And then it has really nice, very cute long sleeves that you can roll up and have it kind of cute and casual and fun. And then whenever you turn it around, it has nice darts in the back with a seam that goes across the back. And I just thought this would be really cute and pair very well with a nice pair of high-waisted jeans. And these are what the jeans look like. So if y'all are not familiar with my jeans on this channel, these are the Lee Rider jeans, and this is the second pair that I picked up. So these are the Riders by Lee high-waisted ankle skinny jeans, and these jeans are my absolute favorite of all time. They make my body look so, so nice. They make the problem areas that I have just completely go away. They make my butt look good. They make my belly look smaller. I don't know how they do it, but they do a damn good job of it. So this is what they look like. I'm not really sure the color story of these or like the, the, the wash of these, but they are sort of like a medium to dark wash. And whenever you turn these around, this is what the back of them look like. So the other pair that I have that is completely annihilated, they're starting to get holes everywhere, holes in the crotch. I've been wearing them like every other day for a year and a half now, and they're finally starting to fall apart, which is completely understandable. I think those style is starting to be discontinued and these are starting to roll out in a different style, but they fit completely the same. They look completely the same, except for a couple of little details. And this little tag, this like faux leather Lee Rider tag in the back is one of the details that they've changed about them. So this is what it has in the back. It just has the Lee Rider insignia in the back. And I don't mind that at all. Otherwise, these are completely the same. Now, one thing I will say, this is sort of a cheat because Walmart has not had these in a while. They started to go out of stock about uh, four months ago or so. So I started finding these on Amazon and I have not looked back. Now they're not as cheap as they were on walmart.com. They were about like $27 on walmart.com and they're $35 on Amazon. So I had to pick these up for this video on Amazon. And I'm gonna leave the Amazon link down in the description box below. If you wanna look cute, if you wanna look stylish and you want a good pair of jeans, these are going to be for you for sure. So the third and final outfit that I wanna share with y'all, as soon as I saw it at my local Walmart store, I knew it was gonna be perfect for this video. And it is a dress and this is what it looks like. So this is a navy blue time and true dress. I picked this up for $13.88 and I just thought it was a perfect date night at home style dress. It is really cute, very casual, and very comfortable. And whenever I saw this really pretty navy, I thought how good it would look with a brown belt, with some brown shoes, maybe some brown heels, with some like camel colored eyeshadow, something like that. Very cute, very sexy, very like understated with nice long kind of curly hair. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was very, very nice. Whenever you turn it around, this is what it looks like. So it's nice and plain. It's very like understated, very cute and very sexy. And I picked this up in a size, what size is it? A size 20. So I think this is like a double X. Yes, it's a size 2X. And I have a pair of Walmart brown wedges that I thought would go absolutely perfectly with this dress and really sort of zhuzh it up and make it look a little bit more, I don't know, something, a little something extra. And it has sort of this like, casual v-neck it's like a, it's like a v-neck sort of like a scoop neck hybrid and i just thought it was cute it has like rough edges around the neckline and it has like sewn sort of ribbed um edges around the arms and this is as you can see it's a sleeveless style dress and what makes it a little bit sexy i think is the fact that it is midi length if this dress was cut at the knee or a little bit above i think it would sort of take away from this dress so this is the final outfit that i picked out from a local walmart store for this walmart plus size clothing look Book. I hope y'all really enjoyed it. Now let's go on to the hair and to the makeup. Hello, howdy, how are you? So this is the makeup tutorial and we're just gonna jump right on in. To prime the face, I'm taking the Avene Thermal Water Spray and I'm saturating my whole entire face to then add my Watts Beauty Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Next, I'm taking my tried and true L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation, y'all know how it is, in the shade 202 and 205 and pouncing the foundation all over my face, neck, and ears. The sponge that I'm using is a microfiber beauty sponge from the website Shop Miss A and I am absolutely in love with it. 
$20 for a beauty blender versus $1.50 for this one. Shop Massey has won by a landslide. For my concealer today, I'm gonna to be going in with the MAC Prep and Prime Concealer in the shade Radiant Rose and adding it under my eyes, in between my eyebrows, you know, the little tree method, on my forehead, on my chin, and then blending it in with the same sponge I used for the foundation. To seal the deal, I'm spraying my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. I'll allow it to dry a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna be moving on to the bronzer. For my bronzer today, I'm gonna to be going in with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and treating it sort of like a transition shade. I'm covering my entire forehead, a good bit of my cheeks, my nose, jawline, and just a smidge on my cheeks as well. For my real deal bronzer today, I'm gonna to be taking the BH Cosmetics Pro Contour Something Something. I can't even remember what it's called, but I'm taking that with the same brush that I used with the other bronzer around the perimeters of my face, so on the top of the forehead, the upper cheekbones, a little bit on my nose, and a good bit on my jawline. And now onto the contour. I'm gonna be taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette with the shade Lazarus on a Paula Dorf angle brush and lightly contouring my cheekbones and jawline. I like to take my contour a little bit higher for a more lifted effect. It's just what I prefer. You don't have to do it this way, but I just like the way it looks. And now onto some highlight. I'm gonna be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. It is the most beautiful, most perfect highlighter of life. If you want something that is natural, dewy looking, I take about a half a pump and I gently apply it to the tops of the cheekbones into the temple and a little bit will do you on the nose and the cheeks and chin as well. Okay, so now it's time for the brows. And I gotta tell you, I've gotten a little bit excessive when it comes to the brows. I use three products now instead of one. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it is what it is. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is the Maybelline Brow to form the shape and add a little bit of color. Next, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Micro Brow just to add a little bit of color to form some like hair strokes. And then finally, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Brow Cream to hold my grandpa brows in place. And now for my favorite part of the whole entire video, the eye makeup. This is going to be a really easy, very simple one palette eye look featuring the Too Faced Sparkling Pineapple Palette. So I'm first taking the warm brown shade in this palette and blending it all over the lid. So the lid, the crease, the transition area, the mobile lid, everything. Next, I'm gonna be taking that deep dark brown shade out of the palette and blending it into the outer V area of the lid, bringing it into the crease just ever so slightly and also underneath the lash line. For the pop of green, I'm gonna be taking this gorgeous duochrome color that flashes from a really pretty rich warm brown to a beautiful emerald green. And I'm just putting it on with my fingers, swiping it over the mobile lid. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna be taking this bright gold duochrome and placing it right into the tear duct area. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna be going in with a quick lash curl from my Tweezerman Curlers and a few coats of mascara from, you guessed it, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's my absolute favorite. I love it so, so much. For my blush today, I'm taking this liquid blush from Daniel Sandler in the shade Rose Glow. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just applying it to the back of my hand and then I wanna apply it with a sponge. This adds a beautiful natural flush to the cheeks that I absolutely love. For a little extra pop of color, I'm gonna be taking the CoverGirl Cheekers in the shade Classic Pink and popping that on the tops of my cheeks and slightly into the temples. And then finally, for my lips today, I have been absolutely loving the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. It is such a pretty shade for so many skin tones and the formula is really long lasting and also very comfortable. To blend the edges just a little bit, I like to tap the lips with my fingers right before the lipstick sets and it really helps to diffuse the lipstick and make your lips look bigger, plumper, and more juicy. So that is the finished look and now onto the hair. So now onto the hair tutorial. I get a lot of questions about how I style my hair, how I curl my hair. So this video is gonna show you step-by-step step of how I do it. As you can see, I have very fine, thick hair that is freshly washed and air dried. But before we start with the heat tools, I'm gonna be brushing out any tangles that I have in my hair because I don't wanna be sealing those in with the flat iron or the curling wand. In this tutorial today, I'm gonna to be using the Irresistible Me 20 inch Royal Hair Extensions in the color Honey Blonde number 28. They come in multiple lengths, 13 shades total, I believe. And this color was the perfect match for me. The 20 inch Royal Hair Extensions, which is the ones that I have, equals to about 200 grams of hair, which is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. So in this video, I only needed three pieces total for a much longer and fuller length. I was really impressed with the hair quality. The hair is super soft, it's luxurious, it adds so much to my overall look, and I just love them. 
So getting started, I'm going to be going in with my hair fetish flat iron. I picked this up from TJ Maxx ages and ages ago for around $20 or so. And I'm going to be gently straightening just the end pieces. I want that like sexy, beachy, just out of bed hair look. And this is the way to achieve it. Next, I'm taking my Bedhead Curling Wand, which is the absolute perfect brand name because that's the exact look that I'm going for. I think this is about a one and a half inch or so. I'm not really sure, but I picked this up from Amazon in 2017 and it has been a trooper. I love it. It's been just a ride or die. So now we're just gonna go right on in. I'm gonna be taking pretty big sections here and curling each piece away from my face. I'm only holding the pieces on the iron about five seconds or so, and then I'm gonna let it go, pull, and shake the hell out of them. <laughs> When I'm done with that curl, I'll go ahead and I clip it to the other side and then I go again. I wrap the hair around the wand, I hold it for about five seconds or so, release, pull, and shake the hell out of it. So this is what your hair is gonna look like when you're done. You can run your fingers through it to break up the curls. You can run a brush through it if you want to, or you can tease it for more volume. It's completely up to you. You can stop here if you don't wanna add any hair extensions at all, if you don't wanna see the before and after, or you can watch to see how I style them. So now I'm taking the piece with the most wefts in it. I don't know what this piece is called. This is like the thickest of the whole bunch and I'm going to put this below the crown of my head. So about level with my ears or so and then I clip it in with the floor clips and these suckers aren't going anywhere. Now I know this looks kind of crazy with the color difference. I know this, <laughs> but wait till you see the end. They match perfectly with the ends of the hair and it looks amazing. To style these extensions, I'm going to be taking the hair in the exact same way that I did with my own hair. So I'm going to be wrapping the thick sections around the barrel going away from my face, but this time I'm not going to break up the curl at all. In the next section up the hair, I'm going to be taking two three clip wefts and I'm going to be adding those to the widest part of my head. So around the temple to temple area and I'm going to be using that bed head curling wand once again and I'm going to be styling it the exact same way. So curling it away from my face. You can even incorporate your own hair in the wand for a better blend. So this is what the final look looks like. I love the way the extensions look in my hair. I love the volume, I love the length, and I love the overall effect. It's super sexy, it's effortless, and it actually is very youthful in my opinion. If you're interested in the Irresistible Me hair extensions, I will have links down in the description box below. And a big thank you to Irresistible Me for sending these over. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this Walmart plus size clothing lookbook, a date night at home video. I hope y'all found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. You know your girl would appreciate it. As always, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy. And I'm gonna be seeing y'all very, very soon. <laughs> Bye.